explain this is how Gary Miller and Yodi Merrill lead for is it business and business international and trade. International trade yes. Yeah. So I have a I have an indirect link into the. Uh, 2018 International Business Festival. Um, we mustn't get confused in thinking that that's a local government event. It's actually a national government event funded by the national government uh, and organised on their behalf by Liverpool Vision. Well, of course it is in Liverpool. Which it's in Liverpool, yes. again, for the third time. Yes. So the last two business festivals, 2014, 2016, um, uh, uh, obviously they run, a, run in June of each year. The first one was seven weeks. The next one was three weeks. The one this year, 2018, is three weeks. And um, it'll probably bring in about 100 or so international delegations. It'll probably bring in about 25,000 to 30,000 business delegates who are mainly coming for conferences and events organised by external organisations and they'll be like global events. Uh, yeah, like so, fringe events and things like yeah, that. Like well, there'll be fringes as well, yeah. Yeah. but most of the global ones. For example, there is one called the Global Forum for uh, Foreign Direct Investment and that was in Shanghai last year. And I, actually, you travel there, I, you? I went to yeah. Shanghai to take the baton from then to then bring to Liverpool because the event organised by them, not by Vision, not by the government, but by the organisers, will bring in the likes of CNN, the IMF, the World Bank, and major investors who will be looking at the UK, and Africa, and America, and Europe, and the Far East, as where can they spend their money. Yeah. It's great that they're here because they can see what opportunities exist in the city region and what exists in the Northern Powerhouse and what might exist in the rest of the UK. So they use this um, and Liverpool as a springboard or a launch pad to go to see Europe, what yes. else is yeah. happening, not just in Europe, but also the Commonwealth as well. Yeah. So there'll be, a, there'll be a lot of African or businesses and organisations and governments yeah. there. And that's a big link with the Commonwealth again. Yes, yeah. yeah, and I'm actually very much involved in the Commonwealth because one of the things I'm also involved in and it's expanding is currently called the Liverpool Commonwealth Association. It's about trade, it's about investments, it's about education, it's about health, um, it's about culture and about communities. Yeah, I think they spoke at a previous council they meeting. Did, they did, they did. I chair that. And that's about to expand to become the Merseyside in Cheshire Commonwealth Association because post Brexit we need to be trading more with the Commonwealth and with the states, etc. Unfortunately, I'll have to end it there. But thank you.